For our buttons, it's pretty much the same. Going back to custom view file, we just need to copy and paste this part of the code and change this one to custom button with a parent class of UI button. The only difference between the two is that instead of setting the text property of the UI button, we're going to set the title. And let's change this one to this part of the code and then just select normal. So that's pretty much straightforward. Let us test if our custom button is working. Going back to the string file, we will copy the button next key, go back to our storyboard, then go to the interface builder, change the class to custom button, and then paste button next key to the localized language. Of the button. Let us check again if our button is working. Alright, so our button is working. Now we know that our custom views are working, it's now time for us to change the class for all views and put in the string keys. So let's change the, this class custom button and then go back to the string file let's put in change language. Same as to the second view controller let's select this one go back to our storyboard change the class custom button custom button and then paste screen 2 And change language. As you can see, it's pretty much straightforward and easy to do and without having any outlets being declared inside the view controller. So now let's try to run the app to see if it's working. And then we're going to click on next and return. In our view controller, if we change this to English, let's remove this part of the code and run again the app, you will see that it's pretty much easy to switch between language. Let me check that one. You see, it's working fine right now. Now, for the moment of truth, the big question is, how do I switch between language without exiting or terminating the app? The answer is here. So we will be creating an extension for the view controllers extension view controller and we will create a function change language this function will let us switch between language 
So let us declare an alert. UI alert. Okay, I forgot to import UI kit. UI kit. UI alert controller. And let's give it a nail title with a message message uh, change language localized localized language and preferred style is action sheet then let's declare some actions like action English equals to UI alert action the title is language English at localized language alert style is default then the action and then we're going to change the user default to English set English to language key one more thing is that we're going to take advantage advantage of the push notification so in our app we will declare an app notification sorry struct app notification so we will declare a static uh, variable change language is equal to notification that name Um, let's give it a name change language and then we'll, after setting the default language we will post the notification so notification center the default post notification and our app notification change language with a nil object we will copy this part of the code and change the name to French go back to our string file then change this part of the code and give it a name FR and also we will be needing another action which is cancelled so that the user can always dismiss the prompt action cancel UI action title let's go back here cancel Then type in localized language. The style is cancel, and we have a nail handler. Now it's time to add those action to our alert view controller. Alert that add action action English alert that action add action action French alert that action add action action cancel then we're going to present our alert new controller with 
probably true. And a nail completion handler. Now let's go back to our controller and call on the change language. And in our custom game, we will make use of the modification. So in our custom class, we will override the init. Let's override that and call on the super init. Coder. And then we will make use of the notification center and add an observer. So add observer, use cell, and then put in the selector. Update UI. And this will be our notification. Change language with a nil value. Xcode will show you an error saying that you need to add this part of the code. Just uh, click on fix and then it's going to be fixed automatically. Now let's go back and copy this part and paste it here. And we also need to do the same. Change this function. Just paste it, paste it and it's going to be okay. So now let us test if our app will work if we change the language. So let's run the app. So you can see the default language is English. By tapping on change language, you can either select English or French. Selecting French will change the language to French. Now we are ready to change our second view controller. But first we need to change the extension from view controller to UI view controller. Then go to our second view controller and call our function change change language. Let's try to run the app again. To see if our second view controller will also change the language. So let's change the language to English. Then hit let's start. Let us change the language back to French. And go back. As you can see in our tutorial, we didn't even use a single outlet. This kind of approach will make your code base compact and more readable. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, this is Bibi Lucas, and thank you for watching.